Hello everyone, good day. Welcome to the iPro MX5. Today we're going to give you another demonstration of a separate setup. I mean, I'm sure you're going to see various videos of different setups. This can be used a hundred different ways. But there are some premium setups that a lot of people are making quite a bit of money with. And I've shown that in a couple of my videos, especially the one that I said, you know, please look at these four setups. They have to be very productive. You know, the nine number, the 10 number, the 13 number, and the seven number setups, as well as the cover up setup. But in this video, I'm going to show you a special setup with just two numbers and covering them both on each side. And it really is, you know, quite profitable. You know what you're doing, and you just follow it as it's supposed to be. Um, just set it up the right way, and you should be all right. Make your 20 bucks and get out. Take a break, come back, reset it. Just remember one thing whenever you reset the app, Okay, so after you make a profit, you know, if you didn't make the 20 units or more, you'll get new numbers. But when you reset the app, okay, which I'm going to show you right now, okay, like in so, when you reset the app, let's just say you had some numbers in here, whatever this is, this is just a default setup and the numbers came out. Just remember when you do, you know, you have a number to come in, let's say it was 30, you missed, and then you finally hit 21 and you get new numbers. You play once you've made your profit and you're going to get out when you reset the app make sure at the top of your computer you just go and you refresh the screen as well not to say anything is wrong but just when you reset the app and you refresh the screen we know the app is 100 percent reset from all previous entries okay and by refreshing the screen what also happens is all the algorithms that are in there believe me it stays in something called a brain file Okay, and we want to clear out those numbers and keep the brain file to what it was. Okay, and it updates, you know, pretty frequently. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're going to do a setup in this demonstration. I'll show you what the setup is going to be and we'll go. So let's go. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. The first thing is we're going to set this thing up. Okay, so this is set up at default for this specific demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go two losses in a row and we're gonna add one okay two losses in a row we're gonna add one this way if you happen to have a little bit of a drawdown you're not getting hammered too much but you'll come out of it okay and we're gonna use two numbers yep just two numbers and what we're gonna do is wherever that number lands you're gonna go to the left of it and to the right of it so I'm just using an example here I'm just gonna put in some crazy numbers and see what comes up so you can understand so let's say it's 16 and 33 it's telling you to spend one unit we know that okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna play 16 17 18 well on your wheel um, and to the right of it and to the left of it so in this case 33 will be 33 32 31 to the right of it and to the left of it now if your number had to happen to have been um, let's see what comes out here let's see if we get one on the outside it doesn't Okay, I'm um, just going to looking for numbers here. Let's say you had a number. Okay, in this case, it's two. So two, three, one, six, five, four. And what's to the left of two? It's not just the zero because that's going to always be put. You know, you're always going to include a zero. Um, it's going to be 36, 35, 34. Now, let's assume that your number was, for instance, you know, here in one of these sequences. I'm trying to find it, you know, where it can happen. Um you know whatever it is if you get a number that's again you had the one here so it would be one two three six five four and of course thirty six thirty five thirty four because that's to the left of one because you're always going to put a zero let's say your number was thirty five okay it would be the same thing it would be thirty five thirty six thirty four to the left of that which is thirty one thirty two thirty three and to the right of this would be one two three plus you're going to add the zero so um, I did I had to refresh my screen which I did okay so let's go to a wheel first thing we got to do is we got to get some numbers right so we're gonna spin I'm gonna get some numbers I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna go from there okay, and the first number obviously is 31 and we're gonna continue plugging them in okay so we've uh, free spun one on red one on black for a few minutes and we've got 31 in there we'll put in 33 29 20 and 10 and of course we still don't have the proper predictions yet so we are going to put in 33 here we go well 
Still one more, I guess. Okay, so it's going to be four. Put that four in. Okay, so here we go. So our numbers are going to always going to be zero is going to be covered. 15, 14, 13, to the right of that and to the left of that, as well as 33, 32, and 31. Now remember, our setup, we've decided on two losses in a row, not just two losses, but two in a row, we're going to add one, not multiply, because we want to be conservative with this, right? So let's look at this bankroll. It's 1,000 units, okay? And let's put the time in, okay? So we're going to say, okay, the time is now 9.43, and we have... 1,000, okay? Now, I am going to use $1 bets just to show you, okay? And my numbers are 15 and 32. The first thing I'm going to do is 15 and 32. So I know what my place is. Obviously, I'm going to put the zero, okay? So I'm going to cover this. And not every single time you're going to have a hit, okay? But many times you will. And it doesn't have to be on that same exact number. As long as it hits, you're going to hit over here. You're going to put it in, whatever number it is. If you did hit, and then you're going to get new numbers, and you go from there. Here we go. Well, that was easy. Right on a dime. So now I'm going to get new numbers. I'm 17 ahead. It says 8 and 30. So we're going to go 8 and 30, right? Okay, so you had a miss. So you're going to put in 13 here. And notice something. It says only with two losses in a row, you will see this thing jump here. For current bet, it's not going to say one, it's going to say two. So we're obviously just going to re bet. Don't worry about making a profit because you will. Okay, you will. And when you do, like I said, take a break. You know, and come back in and you'll reset and refresh and come back in. Okay, eight and 30, two units. Okay. Okay, hit. You're a thousand thirteen, not a problem. You just want to get to a thousand and twenty. Eighteen and twenty nine. Eighteen and twenty nine. Hit. You're at thirty dollars ahead. Thirty-three. Get new numbers. Obviously, you're twenty dollars ahead. You're more than twenty, so you should just reset. Okay, so I'm just gonna reset. I'm gonna put in some new numbers. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna put in. Uh, actually, I can go backwards and see what happens here. Thirty-two. Sorry, thirty-three. Thirty-two. Three. Thirteen. Fifteen. Four. And 33 again. And what does it say? It says 11 and 30. Okay, here we go. So 11 and 30. And of course, I made my $30 profit in like three minutes, so I'm not worrying. Hit. I'm $47 ahead in a very short period of time. Okay, now I'm going to get new numbers. Saying 18 and 29. Okay. Okay, had a miss. Going to put the one in. And I don't have to increase anything yet. Hit. I'm at 1045. Okay, a little bit behind the eight ball. Not a problem. Let me get new numbers. 1 and 20. So here's what I'm talking about. So 1 and to the right of that is 654. To the left of it, we're well, always going to put 0. is going to be this. Right? 21 to the right of that is going to be this. And to the left is going to be this. Let's go. Well, look at that. I'm 1062. So if you want to do the math, um, the time right now, I can tell you right now, it's 1047. So in four minutes, I've already made 50 bucks. What do you think I'm going to do in an hour? Okay. So just do the math. There we go. 
I am going to do a full reset because I already made another twenty dollars. Okay, so I'm going to put in here one twenty-eight, one ten, thirty-three, thirty-two, three. Where are we at? Okay, so it says two and twenty-one. So two and twenty-one. Now there's many different setups. You don't have to use this. And since two is here, to the right, to the left of that has to be here. Okay, you don't have to use this setup. Hit ten seventy-nine. Okay, um, number four. There we go. Get a new set of numbers. Call it a new set of downs, 16 and 24, for those who, who like football. Okay? We just got a new set of downs. Okay, and of course, got to put it in here. 31, we had a miss. No problem. We're obviously hitting more than we're missing, so we're not worried. Hit, 1083. Okay? Okay. So, I don't think we have that 20 unit profit yet. Maybe we did. 3 and 35. This is an example for you. Here we go. So, to the left of this is this. And of course, you got to cover the 0. And then, obviously, the 1, 2, 3. But num the other number was 3, if you noticed. So, to the right of that is this. But to the left is this. So, you already got these things covered. Okay? So, 13. Had a miss. Repeat. And we had a hit. We're at 1,093. Okay. Obviously, we made another 20. So I'm going to do a full reset. Okay. I'm going to put in the numbers 4, 13, 17, 31, 4 again, 1, 28. And what does it come up with? 17 and 34. Okay. I can deal with that. So to the left of this and to the right of the 34. And 17, we're going to clock it in here and to the left. Okay? I'd love to get this thing over 100 bucks. Should be no problem. Okay? Should be no problem. Okay? Bet again. Well, we're back to a 9. That's weird. Okay, so we're at 991. Um... Still, it's considered a hit, even if it was a zero, right? It was considered a hit. So, 6 and 34 now. 6 and 34. All right, not a problem. Go here. 6 is here. Obviously, left is already covered, so we just have to go right. Okay, 15. All right, here we go. Ninety-five. Okay, so we're gaining. You know, sometimes this happens. No, no crisis. Two and twenty-one. Okay. And we've got to cover to the right of that, right? Boom. Hundred and twelve. Call it. What time is it? Okay, so under 10 minutes, we've made a profit of $112 in under 10 minutes. For those of you who have a little bit of guts, I'm not saying I want you guys to have the guts to do this, but I'm just showing you something. There's some people out there who are not going to play with $1. They may play with $2 or $3 units. Well, if you were playing with $2 units, I could tell you what this is. This would have been a $224 profit in 10 minutes. So when you consider yourself, you know, to a point where you're at $224 in 10 minutes, you know, or less, because this really isn't 10 minutes, it's eight minutes. You know, if it was $3, well, it would have been a little bit more, right? Um, it's all going to be coming down to what you set this thing to, okay? And, and I'll show you the different parameters here, how you can actually set that if you're going to change it to two or three units. Okay, so if, if you want to change this to two or three units, what you can do is just, you know, say, okay, I want to have three units here, you know, and you want to take this and say, okay, if I have maybe um, two losses in a row, I may want to make this, you know, 
I want to increase it by three units. Okay. Or I want to multiply it, for instance, by two. Okay. Or again, you can add to whatever you want. You know, you can add one unit. If you're going to increase this thing more to like say a starting bet of four units, I will definitely say that in this case, change it to one loss. Okay. And add maybe two, you know, or add one. It depends. This is going to be critical for you to set up. I mean, the way we showed you in the video where we set it up at two losses in a row, increase by one was sufficient or increase by two would be sufficient. Okay. And, um, a starting bet is one and numbers is two. Now, if you added more numbers, you would basically do on this, okay? This is the whole thing. You'd be betting too many more numbers, and you don't want to do that, okay? Unless you play the entire street. See, you would have three numbers. So if you added, let's say, um, you wanted seven numbers, okay? Look at what's going on. You'd be basically betting one, two, three, plus a zero, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen numbers. Yeah, chances are you can hit. But if you're going to be betting nineteen numbers, then you cannot do this like with two units. You, I mean, with uh, two losses. You'll say, okay, with one loss, okay, then you say, okay, I'm going to add two or add three. It's all up to you, okay? You know how to set this up. We showed it to you. You know, you're going to go two losses in a row, add one, and just use two numbers or three numbers it's up to you but I, I would think two is a you know a, a very good way for the strategy that we were using going left and right okay once you go beyond this okay once you go beyond this as you say two numbers now if a zero came up like this is it'll be right like this three two one that's to the right of the zero and 36 35 34 to the left of the zero and of course 32 is covered here and also here right but if you have three units, you, you, you can't do it like that. Okay, you're going to be betting too much. So with, two, with three units, I guess, I mean, or three numbers, I should say. See, this is all in the same group. But if it was three numbers, I, I would just, you know, just play this and just play this. That's all. Okay, so you know what to do, and that's all. When you're done, you make your profit, hit Reset app, and make sure to refresh at the top. Thanks for taking the time to watch this description and this short tutorial on the iPro MX5.